بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلى الله و سلم على نبينا محمد و على آله و صحبه و سلم اما بعد Always we should be cautious of the issue of takfir, of decreeing, declaring another Muslim to be a disbeliever. And also the issue of cursing another Muslim or fighting another Muslim. All those things are major sins and are very serious. And they are a type of wickedness. And the Prophet ﷺ even mentioned that by killing another Muslim or fighting him, that this is a type of kufr. So to kill... fellow Muslim is a type of disbelief. Of course, the ulama explained that this is the minor disbelief. This does not take you out of the fold of Islam. But it shows you it's a major sin. And it shows you the stern warning to be cautious of that. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ عَنَ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ إِبْنِ مَسْعُودُ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلْ عَنْهُ قَالْ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ سباب المسلم سباب المسلمين فسوق وكتاله كفر متفق عليه. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. He said صلى الله عليه وسلم that cursing a Muslim is fisk. Is a wicked sin. That's wickedness. And kital, you know, killing or fighting your brother Muslim is disbelief. Letting us know that it's the minor disbelief. It's not the disbelief that takes you out of the fold of Islam, but it shows weak man. And it shows a, that it's a major sin. It's a type of wickedness because the Prophet Sallallahu described it as kufr. Letting us know that it's serious and that it's something to beware at all costs. So be cautious with the honor of your brothers and sisters and be cautious with how you treat one another and speaking about one another. And the language you use, do not curse one another. And especially, do not curse your parents. And I have to make that 10B, because some of our brothers and sisters fall into that. Some of them, they curse, they, they go to such extreme, extreme lengths, especially the youth, that they might even curse their own mother, or curse their own father, or fight their own mother or father. This is a wicked sin. And it's a sin that is far from Islamic adab from Islamic mannerisms. It's a type of wickedness not known to the Muslim. And this is something we have to be incredibly cautious about. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from every type of wickedness and fusuk. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.